to another stream. It's been a little while. I've been busy, had things to do. We're going to do another stream today. It's not going to be very long because, again, I have more stuff to do. So, and it's something I've not done in a forever is do something on the 747 that NASA had that would carry the space shuttle. I've never really actually done a stream on it, so I'm going to demonstrate its use and it is a free mod that you can get off flightsim.to it is a very good mod especially for being free you can't fly the space shuttle unfortunately after it detaches that'd be super cool maybe one day anyway as you can see this is a modified 747 it does have the special stabilizers in the back which is not normal for any 747 so this is a one-of-a-kind aircraft which no longer flies, of course. So we're going to hop right in, go ahead and get her started up. I have not flown this in forever, so it might take me just a second. And let's see, get the APU going, go ahead, we got external power. Go ahead and let the APU turn on. starts up pretty much just like any other 747 you may have flown in the simulator. And they're now available. We will turn them on. Perfect. We no longer need external power. We can turn that off. We can get all our fuel pumps on. Again, I'm doing this kind of just brief quick start not doing it technically the way it would have to be As you can see I'm not following normal checklist procedures here beacon there we go and both now let's go ahead and turn the strobe on too and taxi normally I wouldn't yet but I'm gonna go ahead and do it Alright, looks like we got AP on, fuel pumps on, oh, let's go down here turn the fuel cutoff switches on. And let's go back up to overhead and start our engines up. Looking down here at the monitor to make sure the engine is starting. And we can see it is nice and slowly. Turn on, let's go ahead and turn on the flight director. Go ahead and set our barometric pressure. And to keep this very authentic, we will be flying from the NASA Space Shuttle Landing Facility right outside of the Vehicle Assembly Building down at Cape Canaveral. That is a 10,000 foot long landing strip that is so long. If you stood at one end and you had a friend stand at the other end, y'all would not be able to see each other because of the curvature of the earth. I have not tested that theory for myself because I'd probably be arrested. But that's what I've been told. All right, engine number one has a good start. Engine number two is good. Waiting for three and four. Three is good. And now waiting for the last one, number four. So once you download this and you hop in, you'll see this computer on your left side here, which doesn't turn on. Never mind, it's this right here. So this is how you will actually launch the space shuttle once all these conditions are met, which you can see here, which means you're at the right altitude, the right pitch, the right airspeed, the right bank, and then you can arm it. And of course we're going to go through all that. Alright, everything started up, very good. Turn off the APU. There we go. 
guys. We don't need it no more. And I've already got all the lights on that I need for the moment, so we will leave it at that. And that's pretty much it. This is not a very sophisticated aircraft. It is definitely not study level. And our airspeed needs to be between 230 and 280. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set that up for the autopilot. We'll do 250. We'll just keep it right in the middle. Well, close to the middle. It's not technically the middle. And you got to be above 5,000 feet. So let's go ahead. Wait, it's already set for 10,000, so that'll be fine. And all right. Park and brake off. And let's start taxiing to the runway. Go ahead and set my flaps. Awesome to get to see fly in real life. I am also using the uh, Cape Canaveral Space Coast, whatever mod you want to call it, which is also at flightsim.to. Just search NASA and you'll find probably both of these. Just if you search NASA. On taxi off. All oh, right, there we go. Like I said earlier, I'm not trying to be formal and very perfect with all this right now. This is just to really show you the launch and deploy of the space shuttle from the 747. Wind there, thing from the left. We're almost airborne. There we go. Good power, positive rate of climb, gear up, flaps up. So let's go ahead and turn on auto throttle and all this good stuff. the exact flight plan they would have took when launching these. I don't even know the exact altitude they would have went to. But since we can't actually fly the space shuttle, that really doesn't matter in this case. Keep on going up, get our altitude.
what's nice is that uh, this uh, emblem here for NASA on the tail is backwards. It's right on this side backwards on another interesting one. It's right on the space shuttle. I've flown this several times and never noticed that. we want to be at now and yeah, let's turn around we'll go back down here and look you can see it's now green for the right altitude we'll go ahead and hit arm so yes once all these are green you can press to release as that button says it will not let you release it until all those are green speed is not that's true airspeed so let's see what our true airspeed is oh yeah we're going a little fast all right let's slow down to speed should be yes we we'll have to work on our pitch and bank after we get turned around the pitch can be the hardest out of all of it actually we'll say that's the hardest because the rest of them is just there and do that basically. The pitch is tricky because of airspeed and trying to maintain an altitude. Uh, so as you can see right now I'm good I believe. No I'm not. Between five down and three all three up so what I'll have to do probably is put down one more flap. There we go. And that's just create more lift so we do not have to nose up as much. Looks like we're about 2.5 now maybe. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So yes, once you get to your direction you want to be going the right altitude and you got your speed.
just keep increasing flat one by one until you are able to get that green light on your pitch. So now everything's good. We're all green. And we're coming up on the space center now, so we'll get a camera ready. Now the unfortunate part about this, the only unfortunate part other than you can't fly the space shuttle, is it disappears after a few seconds. That's okay. It's still really cool. It's fun. Alright, so here we go. And the space shuttle away. Now to get it back, so you don't have to completely restart, just go to your weight and balance. And then there you go, just turn the payload back up. That's all you gotta do. You might have to wait a minute for the plane to settle back down after it got all that weight added back to it. And you can see our nose is going back down. And we're good, and you can go ahead and press it again. So, three, two, one, and release. And just picking our pitches got back. There it goes, and done. That's all there is to it. Really fun mod. Definitely recommend giving it a try, especially since it's free. I've seen some mods that are free that are just absolutely horrible. Yeah, but this is definitely one where the creator did a really good job. So, and kind of applause for him and much appreciation. And hopefully, some people will find this very fun to try for themselves.